I started out doing one video, added a few things in, and that just grew. And I thought, okay, I'm going to do a video just on this. This was in response to a comment made on the video part two of the Path to the Surface Duo covering PDAs. Individual made a comment about how he had never seen the devices, but inspired things in the imagination. I, I should have brought the comment up just to make certain I'm stating it properly. What I don't know is that he was around then, but didn't know about them or just too young for that time frame. So anyway, my response was about how things changed. There were just so many differences in handsets, unlike today where everything looks the same, excluding a fold and a duo, uh, these foldable devices. And they look a little bit different. And they, of course, look different from the standard devices. But for the most part, all devices look the same. They look like this Samsung here. You know, iPhone, Samsung, you got to be able to like, get a look at the back and you say, oh, there's five cameras there. That's got to be a Samsung. But in general, they all just look alike. And I thought I would maybe quickly go through some things that we saw back in the day. Now, I can't take you back pre-2002 because those devices were all given to my carrier, donated to my carrier. They asked for the donations so that they could use them for the needy. I don't know if they turned around and resold them at some price or if they gave them. I don't know what they did. Uh, in some ways, like today, I regret I don't have those devices. I just am hopeful that they did go to the needy. But I can't show you what most devices look like, say, at 2000. I can give you an idea just by looking at this device. You could take this device and make it one non-foldable device, keypad, and a little bit of a screen. That's what most look like, but they were there were little minor differences. I mean, you could... Probably if you knew your devices, you could very quickly look at a device and know which brand it was, but they didn't look at identical to each other. Now they did evolve to this kind of device. This is a Motorola, by the way. And I purchased mainly Nokia for myself and the family, but uh, we did do some Motorola stuff and there's other Motorola's and what I'm going to show you. Uh, my son was big into Motorola, but let's kind of look. I don't know if I've got things in the right order, but, you know, we had flip phones. The Razor was in horrible shape, and uh, I don't know where it is right now. But there was another Motorola device that was similar called the Sliver. It was a little bit smaller in size. Outside screen, inside screen keyboard, guidance, et cetera. Very much like this. This had an outside screen, inside screen. There, this is another Motorola. You note that these are kind of looking different just in themselves. So Motorola got into this kind of device Devices that were real, that kind of were popular for a while were these kind of devices. And these slider phones in di had different um, means. As you can see, this has the older, uh, just numeric uh, keypad for dialing. There were others that had keyboards that slid out in the Windows Mobile world. Because Windows Mobile and the variants, this is my first um, PDA combination uh, mobile device. Oops, got it upside down. Like so. The evolution is one like, get it the right way. 
This is HTC that I'm showing you. And HTC then got into tilts where they tilt devices. So I noticed because of the colors, my green screen's kind of showing through here. Sorry about that. I like to use green screens because um, you will see industrial automation controllers and such. And just means, I don't know that that means anything to you. And then this tilting device. So devices looked different. And even in the Windows mobile world, devices were different. Like, so HTC came into existence. I don't know what they did other than made HP pocket PCs. HTC may have made other things. I do know that. And then they started selling their own devices and were quite popular for a long time frame. But things looked different. We had differences instead of like today, again, you know, everything looks the same. Another stroll down memory lane, one that Dale could take many times. I do like to try to compare where we're at to where we were and what has happened. And certainly now most things are happening in software and capabilities, but it's always good to touch back to where we were. It gives us a little hint to where we're going. Thanks for watching.